Hey there, PowerPoint lovers. Want to create a sleek and professional timeline infographic in just minutes? You're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll take you through a simple, step-by-step -step process to design a visually stunning infographic that will elevate your presentations. Let's get started. Let's start by setting up a sleek background. Right-click on the slide and select Format Background. Next, go to Color, then More Colors, and switch to the Custom tab. Set the RGB values to Red 70, Green 50, and Blue 120. This will create a polished and professional look for our design. Now, let's design our main shape. Go to Shapes, select the rounded rectangle, and draw it on the slide. Hold down Shift while drawing to keep the proportions just right. See that small yellow dot on the corners? Drag it to adjust the curve and create a smooth, rounded effect that fits your style. Once you're satisfied with the shape, center it perfectly on the slide by going to Align and selecting Align Center and Align Middle. Looks great! Now, let's turn on Guides to help us position our elements accurately. Head to View and enable the Guides. These lines will help us align everything perfectly as we build our infographic. Next, let's create a unique custom shape. Go to Shapes, select a rectangle, and place it over the rounded rectangle. Now, select both shapes, go to Merge Shapes, and choose Subtract. Let's refine it further, repeat the step with another rectangle, align it, and subtract again. And just like that, we have a sleek, customized design. Looks even better. Now, let's give our shape a dynamic twist. Select the shape, go to Rotation, click More Rotation Options, and set it to 45 degrees. Just like that, we've created a sleek, modern element for our timeline. Since we no longer need the guides, let's clean up the workspace. Head back to View and uncheck Guides to turn them off. Next, let's ensure perfect alignment. Select the shape, go to the line, then choose Align Center and Align Middle. Time to bring this shape to life with colors. I've got a pre-made palette, but you can use your own. Right-click on the shape, select Format Shape, and choose Gradient Fill. We only need two gradient stops, so delete the extras. For a smooth and elegant gradient, Use the eyedropper tool to pick a darker shade for the first stop and a lighter shade for the second stop. Keeping the colors within the same family gives it a polished look. Now, let's adjust the gradient positions, set the first stop to 30%, the second to 70%, and adjust the angle to 240 degrees. Looking great! Next, we'll add an outline. Go to Line, select Solid Line, change the color to white, and set the width to two points for a crisp, clean edge. To complete the look, let's add a soft drop shadow. Go to Presets, select Outer Shadow, Offset Center, then set the transparency to 90% and the blur to 15. And there you have it our first element is done. Let's enhance our design with a sleek arc line. Go to Shapes, select Arc, and draw it just below the main shape. Now, customize it, change the outline color to white, change the rotation, and adjust its position for a perfect fit. Then, right-click, go to Format Shape, and set both arrowheads to oval for a smooth, professional look. Finally, let's keep things organized. 
Select both the shape and the arc, then press Ctrl plus G to group them together. Now, let's build our timeline by duplicating the shape. Hold Shift plus Ctrl and drag to create two more copies. Then, select all three shapes, go to Align, and choose Distribute Horizontally to ensure perfect spacing. Next, group these three shapes and duplicate them again. Hold Shift plus Ctrl, drag the copy upward, and flip it vertically using Rotate, Flip Vertical. Place it right in between the first set. To balance the design, ungroup the top set, remove the last shape, ungroup the bottom set, and select all shapes. Then, go to the line and choose Distribute Horizontally to adjust everything evenly. Finally, center all the shapes on the slide to achieve a clean, professional look. Now, let's customize the colors for the remaining shapes to make our timeline visually appealing. Right-click on a shape, go to Format Shape, and select Gradient Fill. Use the eyedropper tool to apply colors from our pre-made palette or feel free to use your own. Select a darker shade for the first gradient stop and a lighter shade for the second to maintain a smooth and professional look. Once the colors are set, it's time to add text. To speed things up, I'll use text from a previous design, but you can add your own custom content to match your needs. Next, select the heading text and the main shape, then group them using Ctrl plus G. Repeat this for the other shapes to keep everything organized. And that's it, our timeline is coming together beautifully. To bring our design to life, let's add some animations, go to Animations, open the Animation pane, and start with the arc line. Apply the split animation, go to Effect Options, and change the direction to Vertical Out. Set it to Start after Previous for a smooth transition. Now, select the shape group and apply the float in animation. Set the duration to 0.75 seconds and change the start option from on click to with previous. Then, add a slight delay of 0.25 seconds for a more natural flow. For the text, apply the fade animation. Set it to with previous and add a delay of 0.75 seconds. This ensures a seamless and polished transition. To speed up the process, use the Animation Painter, select the animated arc and apply it to the next arc. Then, copy the animation from the shape group and apply it to the rest, flipping the direction where needed. Finally, repeat this process for all remaining shapes to keep everything consistent. And there you have it your sleek, professional timeline infographic, fully animated and ready to impress. Wasn't that easy, imagine how much more engaging your presentations will be with designs like this. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel. And if you love learning cool PowerPoint tricks, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next one.